Welcome to the video. My name is Sayed. In this video, we will talk about SAP sales order item level views and tabs. To create an order, we enter the VA01 from this user menu or we enter the T code. We enter the T code as a T code bar VA01. And here we have order type OR. We're going to leave it like this. And uh, we are going to enter sold to. PO number, customer reference number, material number, and the quantity. And after that, uh, all the rest of the fields will populate. And uh, we can go from there with the item level tab. So let's enter one more line item with different quantity to make it multiple line item views. Okay. So we have line number 10 and line number 20 in the sales order and uh, uh, we can see that the all line items start from all line item and below so let's get into it we can I can double click on this and it will take me to the line item and uh, or I can click on go to item and then select from item to uh, item level views and also I can click on header and header level tab so header and item so let's start with the sales A okay then system we can see the select one or more item to go to the line level so uh, from here if we want to go to the line level we have to select the line item and then we can go to there uh, that's a good negative test So here we can see that at the sales A tab at the line we can on the top we can see create standard order item data. So it tells that what status we are right now we are in actually l creating order and uh, we are at the item data and from item data first thing we can see item number is 10. Uh, we can see these buttons these buttons will uh, navigate us to the different tabs we can click on this and we can click on to the last item we can click on the next item and we can click on the previous item and the very first item so here we can see that the uh, order quantity and delivery date this is uh, basically all the fields are relevant to that general sales data so uh, quantity for line number 10 is 2 uh, first delivery date is populated based on our today's date uh, and uh, delivery time and contract number if we have contract that we are creating sales order from contract it will populate and also it's showing us the unit of measure each and this is translating into their uh, requirement segment is there so general sales data is, is there we have net value is showing that for this line item net value is 190 US dollars exchange rate is uh, one so pricing date we can see that pricing date is coming in there material entered uh, all the general sales data relevant fields are coming in there so bill of material uh, explosion number cancellation date usage so all of these fields are uh, maybe not all the fields are used for every company and every process so that is uh, maybe relevant to that and uh, right now we are just looking at the standard uh, SAP where we can see all of these uh, information so and also just to be reminded this is uh, SAP S4 HANA sales order so it might be different little bit different from ECC but not much so if I click on next item to see so we can see the line number 20 is coming in there and our quantity is 5 now for line number 20 and material number is coming in there as well so if I use different material number it will show otherwise it's showing the same number I have used the same material number uh, net value is different based on the pricing calculation and uh, all the rest of the things looking the same so uh, that's it for this video uh, we will look at the other tabs in different videos please uh, subscribe leave a comment uh, thank you very much for the watching this video thank you